that's usually a very difficult question because what works for A may not work for B. You know, um, people have different things that make them come together. Um, for me, the synergy between me and my husband is actually um, we're very good, we're friends. You know, um, I always tell people sometimes it's good to marry a friend. It's good to marry someone you share laughs with. You know, someone someone you gossip with. Um, you shouldn't be married and then have a best friend you share secrets with. You know, you should you should be able to just just and do amiable <laughs> and gossip with your husband and your wife. You know, so I would say um, friendship. One, you all need to be very good friends not strangers you know you need to be very good friends understanding you need to understand each other you need to know when you get to a point where you probably have to compromise to make something work but you need to understand each other then trust that cannot even be overemphasized how important it is you know in a relationship because if you don't trust each other there's a problem I've been on set with some people where their phone ring once and because they're on set they're shooting they didn't pick up when the, the phone rings again it's usually like why did you not pick up the phone like you you know calm down um, so it's it's always funny when that when when I when I see situations like that if you don't trust yourself then sincerely speaking there's no point Trust is one, one, one thing in a relationship that can never be overemphasized you all need to trust yourself you need to know that even if you don't talk to yourself for like a week or something but then not that you won't talk to yourself but but you need to trust yourself trust trust is very important then you both need to pray together that cannot also be overemphasized you need to you need to whatever religion you know you 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 are um you're practicing you need to find a way to Put your problems or whatever your success stories you need to pray together you need to you need to talk to your God together um, and then what's that last one that came to my head just now whatever you're going through yes you need to always make sure you don't sleep with anger that's very dangerous actually if you've both offended each other you need to say it and let it go let it go when you when you accumulate um, anger and and things like that and negative thoughts about your partner it accumulates to a point where you get to an explosive point where even if it's just one little thing i've heard where ordinary toothpaste cause problem that somebody did not press toothpaste well and then it's led to them separating it's actually because they've been accumulating a lot of things for a very long time so when you are angry with each other say it you know and trash out the issue this course you need to communicate with each other you know communication is key you need to find a way to communicate with each other so make sure you don't go to bed you know with annoyance when you're angry with each other just say it out there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot ah me social media is my life <laughs> I keep telling people I'm probably one of the people that social media has helped me in a lot of ways that can be um, said into one. My my marriage was from social media. Um, my career was bloomed from social media. My every single thing I've done, I've probably got from social media. So um, I tell people, social media responds to you the way you give it, what you feed to it. So you get what you want back from social media. If you want to use social media positively, if you want to use it to boost your career or whatever, it depends on the message you're passing out. It depends on what you give out is what you get, you know, from, from it. There is the negative part, there's the positive part, but everything depends on you as an individual on what you want from social media. Um, people are making tones, millions of naira from there. So everything depends on what you want. So while you're there, probably just, you know, going and backbiting or um, putting negative comments on people's posts and just bringing people down and doing social media bullying. Other people are there making money from social media. You know, so everything depends on what you as an individual want. For me, social media has been absolutely amazing um, in my life. I, I, can't, I can't even begin to count how I have, you know, benefited from it. Um, well, I did not um, just start chatting with somebody and then we got married the next day. We actually, after we met, we actually um, dated for about three years before we got married and we're going to be six years this year.
I keep telling I keep telling um, young people, especially or uh, anybody that you know I am in the same space with. Sometimes that 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 thing people always say when there is life, there is hope is actually very true um, because well, there's only hope for the living. So sometimes um, life can be very 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 frustrating. You know, um, it can get very depressing most times and you know you you're close to saying okay maybe it's enough maybe this is not for me but most times when you're close to giving up that's when you're actually very close to your breakthrough they say that a lot too but people think it's just a myth no it's actually true sometimes when things get really difficult it means you're close you know to something so never give up hope and never stop believing in yourself um, because the moment you as an individual stop believing on yourself for me that's it you're dead because even if the whole world believes in you and you don't believe in yourself then there is almost absolutely nothing you can do you know to achieve your dreams so you have to develop that very that die hard spirit you know that never say never you know until it's over and until it's over means until you're six feet below you know so just keep pushing it's difficult it's never easy anybody that told you it's easy is lying you know it's 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 difficult there's there's nothing like an overnight success even if you're a thief it's not easy you know so um what i'm just trying to say is never ever give up on yourself keep pushing keep struggling you would get there you would get there there's always a way if you want it really badly if you want it really really badly there is always a way a legitimate way you know not an illegal way a very legal way there's always a way just find something to do and thank god for this new era of um you know social media you can always put yourself out with your phone you know there's a lot of things you can do if you want to study something you don't have money there will be an online course that you can find books to read for free you know so a lot of things are out there now so there's almost no excuse anymore um, to not achieve what you want to achieve so I'll just say never give up on yourself for whatever reasons don't keep believing in yourself just have faith that there is a God that is bigger than everything you're going through and he would not just put you out there and just let you go suffer for nothing. So just believe there's always a way and live positively, you know, be a light. Sometimes you think your own situation is worse until you hear someone else's situation and then you know your own problem is Elena. But don't give up on yourself. Stammy heart. Um, well, I wouldn't say there was any idea or any inspiration. I just um, spoke to a writer that I know writes amazing scripts, Brenda, um, and I told her if she has a script, and then she sent me that script. Um, this was sometime last year, actually, and I totally fell in love with the scripts um, because it, it just had a lot of you know awesome moments, and it reminds me of me in a way. And um, I told her I would love to do the scripts. At the time, I actually went to all the theater plates because um, there were a lot of fantastic musicals at the end of. Um, 2016 so I went to see all of them so I could figure out who's which actor you know would be the lead from there and but then that didn't work last year then this year an opportunity came up and I presented the script and they loved it too so that gave better stomach heart so I wouldn't say one something inspired it um, I'll just say Brenda sent me an amazing script that I thought I would love to bring to life And well, the challenge for me is I would guess the same challenge as tons of producers, finance, you know, money. Um, it's, it's a low budget film, so it was a very tight budget. And um, for me, that was the only issue um, we had. Um, if I had had a lot of money, but then there's, money is never enough for producers. That's what a lot of people say. But this was actually a very tight budget, um, bringing this to life. The actors were amazing, um, all of them. The crew, the director, um, to everyone you know they were all fantastic so i would say for me it was just the budget that i had to squeeze um, myself um, into um, making bringing that the fantastic script to life that was the only challenge we actually did for it Stummy heart, um, like I said, is something about it's it's close to me, and the reason why I say it's close to me is because it speaks a lot about um, hope and strength and risk when you want your dream to come to life. How far will you go? You know, um, would you just sit down and wait for a miracle, or would you get up and take you know your destiny into your hands and see what you can do? Um, so, Stummy heart is about this young lady that um, she loves to sing, but then she doesn't have that 
opportunity to do what she loves to do she's um she's she finds herself in a very unfortunate situation with a pimp who just keeps using her and then one day she just decides to up and leave and just take the risk to go chase her dreams fortunately for her she moves into a house right next to a music producer that is also going through heartbreak at the moment because his artist left him for a bigger music producer so somehow somehow they will find a way and then you know happily ever after <laughs> Um, well, the thing is, sometimes, like the same um, man proposes, God disposes. So sometimes we actually think we know it all, but in truth, we don't. It was the same with Just Not Married, uh, my last movie. People thought it won't do one week in cinema because it was a ghetto film. Um, people thought, you know, ghetto films don't do well in cinemas. Nobody goes to the cinema to watch a ghetto film that doesn't even have a, a name they know, you know. But it did six weeks in cinema um, so I always say the Nigerian audience want a good film you know they want a film they can identify with um, whether it's comedy whether it's drama whether it's romance whether it's action just give them a good film um, you know they're paying money to come watch so they need their money what you know um, so give them a good film and they will enjoy it um, then we, we can't deny the fact that yes comedies have been the ones that have broken even um, you have the 30 days in Atlanta you have a trip to Jamaica and then you have wedding party um, so that's not it's not but then there there have been other comedy movies too that got into the cinema that didn't do well so I would say just do a good film and do massive publicity if you can afford it which i think was one of the um, selling points for most of all these films too um, they they had the money to you know do massive publicity um, because people would like to hear about what it is they want to go see sometimes um, but most times most of the producers are indie filmmakers that don't have that kind of budget you know so it's 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 tight you know putting all that together but I believe the Nigerian people love good films. Um, like people always say, story is king, story one, two, three, story is king. So if you give them a very good story, you would actually make your money back in cinema. You want me to my sister? In this career that I just started. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna do that. Um, I watched it and I loved it. I feel good about it. Um, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of everybody behind it. Every single actor, um, they put out their hearts in it. Um, the director, Tokbe Alake, and um, everyone in it. And they're actually all your favorite actors. You know, you have Etna Saidemudia, you have Kilichu Digby, you have Rotimi Salami, you have Uncle Fred Amata, you have Kenneth um, Ukoli, you have Teresa Edem, you have Christiana Martin, you have um, Eddie Watson, you have Greg Ojefwa, you have Tumi Wakuko, you have Debbie Orihi, you have OJ Nelson, fantastic actors you know um, I don't really say I'm confident when it comes to um, doing that because I usually put my trust in God and and you know so I believe his grace is sufficient you know for us and I want to believe when people go see the film they'll be happy with it and they would tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to go see it and they would all love seeing it. The film will be in cinema June 2nd. Mm? <laughs> so it's entering cinema June 2nd. Um, so please tell a friend to tell a friend that the producer of Just Not Married, the highly acclaimed movie, it's onto something and it would be hitting cinemas close to you from the 2nd of June. Please support our ministry. You know, um, without you, we wouldn't be here. So we really need you to move to that permanent site where we can be able to chunk out fantastic films that would make you proud. Um, so please support the movement. Hello, hi, my name is Judith Aoudou. I'm an Nigerian actor and filmmaker, and you're watching Broadway TV. Keep it locked on, guys. <laughs>